Bob Phipps, the retail doctor, works with some of the largest brands and their dealer networks. He shows brick and mortar retailers how to engage with customers in a way that by design, online retailers can't ever do. His engaging, fun-loving presentations redefine how to create an exceptional customer experience, one that grows sales and will give retailers the tools they need to succeed. All right, so you've all been given a colored piece of paper. We can have the house lights up here a little bit. I need you to make a paper airplane. But there are caveats to this. I need you to build it, and once you've built it, I need you to put your first name on the outside, please. Give it a price, don't say it's priceless, or forget to put the price, I'll have to rip it up. And if there's any free time, you can decorate it. All right, put your pens and pencils down. What do we have to do now? Pistol Pete. Steve Peterson, it's Pistol Pete's for $4.99. There is a retailer for you. Awesome. And the purple plane from Joel. Wow. Joel, you're, Joel Ca Cachet? You're pretty proud of ourselves there, Jolie. Is that 100 billion? Is that what that says? Very, very nice. And uh, JT's is $99.99. And wow, Brian also is, uh, Brian Moon is 62,000. So tell me, what made the difference between those viewers that came forward to me and sadly some of yours that went backwards. What's one thing that made the difference? Location, very important, front row, what else? Design, good, what else? Velocity, how hard you threw it, maybe the air currents at your side of the, uh, of the stage, maybe how much free time you had in high school, just saying. But did the price make a difference? No, and that's my first point to that price doesn't make something a good value. And there's always somebody cheaper. Customers have basically three parts of a funnel that they move through when they buy something. The first is awareness. They walk into your store, I know I want something, I just don't know what it's gonna be. I'm open to merchandising or meeting somebody or seeing what, I, what catches my eye. The second group is consideration. Do I want this model or that? Do I want the black or the green? I saw this online, I need to see and feel the weight. Uh, those kind of things, that's consideration. And the last one is decision. I was watching Game of Thrones, I was half doing an iPad search, I found this item, I'm gonna walk in and see if I can get this at the store. Now the numbers might surprise you. 60% are in awareness stage. We just wanna get something. I don't know what it's gonna be. I know I'm in a bike store, so I'm probably gonna buy cake, but I'm not sure what it's gonna be. 30% are in consideration. Do I want this, do I want that? I gotta see it, I gotta feel it. And only 10% is in decision. So what happens when your untrained salesperson says to your customer, can I help you find something? What part of the funnel is that talking to anybody? Decision, How? what's the percentage of that? 10%. The money is in that 90%. And I'm here to tell you, if you are not thinking of every nanosecond of how we touch a customer, you're gonna have a tough time staying in business. You've gotta find a way to find the hope every day that makes them feel like, wow, I am working in the right place and I can make a difference. Otherwise, you're just gonna go back to the tasks that stay busy. And they're gonna let customers go by. And the danger with that is customers come to you, they want a one-stop shop. They want to feel more, they need to feel better because they drove through snow or wind or ice to come to your store. And we can't take that for granted. We have to expect more because when shoppers feel they matter, they buy more. That's your only hope. When you want to give your participants hope and actionable tools to compete with online by increasing engagement in store, Call the expert successful brands turn to time and time again. Bob Phipps, the retail doctor.